Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and happy Halloween! Today I'm going to be reviewing the original 1978 Halloween. Before I get on with the review, there are no pink lights anymore because I moved them to my living room and after I finish this review, I'm actually going to show you guys some extra decorations that I have up over my house because today some of my friends are coming over and we're just going to watch some horror movies and I wanted to show you guys all the decorations I put up because I think that would be just very fun. Let's get started on talking about Halloween. On a cold Halloween night in 1963, six-year-old Michael Myers brutally murdered his 17-year-old sister, Judith. He was sentenced and locked away for 15 years, but on October 30th, 1970, while being transferred for a court date. 21-year-old Michael Myers steals a car and escapes Smith Grove. He returns to his quiet hometown to cause mayhem. This is always one of those movies that I have to watch at least one point in the year and that time is Halloween and I just recently saw it again and it's always such a good film to watch and I always appreciate this one very much. One of the things that I love so much about it is how suspenseful this movie really is and it's very funny because John Carpenter really didn't show that much. This movie isn't really gory and it doesn't even have jump scares which movies today would do. This movie does things very subtly and in a very quiet way is the way I would describe it but it still works in to to that suspense and what really helps it is just that amazing score by John Carpenter himself I think that's fantastic that he directed it and he did the music for it and this music is I mean it's one of the most iconic movie scores ever and every single time I hear it I just think of Halloween it's it's just such an amazing score and it adds so much I've always loved the great character of Michael Myers the other characters are very flat in the movie and that's where some of my issues with it come but the character of Michael himself I think is so fantastic and to me he's one of the scariest movie villains icons I've always been scared of him because not knowing everything about him scares me. For example, you never really know why he killed his sister. You never really know why he's doing anything. You don't know why he wears this mask. You don't really know anything. And it's that idea of not knowing anything that scares me. And I think it's the what makes the movie so suspenseful. And that opening shot is just phenomenal. The way the POV shot. And that movie scene has been talked about enough. But I just want to add to that and say that I really, really love that opening scene. And I think this movie is really good with the whole idea of paranoia because a lot of times it feels like you're being watched and it feels like you're in the movie because for the majority of the film, Michael doesn't do anything to Laurie until the very end of the movie. And there's a very great sequence towards the end where it's just, a, it's a chase sequence and the camera's falling right behind Laurie and it switches angles a lot. And they did such a good job of building that tension and making you feel like you're there and you can really tell her panic and it's just fantastic. <laughs> just really quickly say my negative with the movie I don't think this is a perfect movie by all means because my negative with this is the acting I don't think it's the best acting it's mostly from like the other friends that are very honestly irrelevant like they're just there to die um Jamie Lee Curtis does a pretty good job sometimes her screams get very like extravagant and it's just like I feel like it was very extra and I have heard Jamie Lee Curtis say that she hates her performance in the movie so I mean I think it's because she was just very extra with some of the screams and it just kind of took me out of them but but for the most part, everything else is just great. I mean, the directing of this movie is fantastic. John Carpenter is a great director and 
the shots of this movie are amazing and he does a really good job at making this neighborhood feel real if that makes sense like I always feel like I'm a part of that neighborhood and I've seen this movie countless amount of times but even the first time I saw it I just I felt a sense of realism with the neighborhood and the world that he has created and it kind of in a weird way this movie sometimes feels warm even though this is a slasher and it has some very dark topics I always feel warm in when I watch this and it's kind of I guess it's just associated with the spooky vibes and the character of, the, of this movie basically just started this trope that the virgins get to live and people that have sex don't because Laurie Strode she's very like kept to herself while her other friends are just I guess out there and they're not kept to themselves and then they're the ones that end up dying and honestly some of the kill sequences are pretty good in this movie like, it's the idea that you never really see anything because again it's not really gory in, for, in my opinion like there's way more movies that are way gory but it, it just works so well and then another one of my favorite characters is Samuel Loomis I think he was awesome in this movie and he's an awesome character because I think another theme and just something that this movie talks about really well is evil and how evil can affect a person not to mention that this movie is just timeless the first time I saw it I was way younger and I've seen it probably every single year after that plus many other times and it's aged so well like I think this movie is a very well paced movie and it does get slow at some times because it's not very action packed but it just has such amazing sequences like an iconic scene of just Michael at the end of the, the street peeking and looking at Laurie the one at the school or the one where he's in the sheets like there's just so many subtle ways of being scary here that just horror movies like this are made today and that's what makes this one so special. I love this movie so much and I'm going to give this movie an A. Thank you guys so much for watching today's review and I cannot believe that this is the end of my first Halloween series. I'm very happy that you guys have enjoyed all of my videos and just supported me and I'm really close to 200 subscribers and it just means a lot that you guys are subscribing and checking out my channel. And before I go, I'm actually going to just show you guys some Halloween decorations. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys have a safe and spooky Halloween and I'll make sure to see you guys next time. Bye guys.